Well, all his emails are about his mates. I think I know everything about them. Tomo's addicted to Top Gear, and Corporal Stewart is engaged to a manicurist from Barnsley, and Taffy Phillips gets up to no end of mischief in Cardiff. Well, according to Jimmy, it's a very good place for mischief. <laughs> They're all planning a big night out when they get back from leave. Maybe that's what our old warrior's remembering. A big night out in Amsterdam with Hiet from Utrecht and Theodore from Harlem, pouring libations on old friends forged in far and flame. It's the same thing with you as always. What is? Jealousy. Jealousy. Yes. I go into the field and risk my neck to take some actual images, and you just sit here and pontificate. Well, that's not fair. Theories are Roland Barton, Susan sometime don't count for much when you're trying to capture the aftermath of an IED. What's the latest theory have to say about the cultural significance of a boy with his legs blown off? Or a five-year-old killed by a drone? What are the signifiers for those? You can't make those comparisons. What, between the theory and the factual? Between a slideshow in a warm lecture room and a filthy ditch in Helmand? No, you just... What about the young officer he photographed that morning at breakfast, joking with his sergeant about the football, and then the next time you see him, that sergeant is carrying him dead in his arms. You catch that in the viewfinder. Click. The mouth open in anger and the tears, his body armor covered in his officer's blood. You chose it. It chose me. Those images chose me. I chose you. That I chose you and I have to live with you being away. Watching the news every day, every bulletin, waiting for the announcement, British photographer killed. I need to go. That's what you say every time. I need to go this time. Oh, you've been to Afghanistan twice. It's not Afghanistan, it's the Yemen. The Yemen? Agency commissioned a feature on the insurgency. You can't stop me going. When have I ever been able to stop you going? And just give me your blessing. No. Not this time. I don't want you to go this time. Gaz did mention one boy. They called him Metal Mickey because he had a brace on his teeth. He got hit by one of those rockets. Him and a corporal. Was he killed? He was 18. They used to laugh at him because he always had to show ID when he went into a pub. I reckon he's also remembering some of his friends who were killed. I think so. Never really thought about what it's actually like. I've seen it on the telly. Gaz never really tells me. Yeah, the things he's seen, he probably can't put it into words. The grim clash of battle. Seconds of desperation. Friends suddenly gone. The wounded change forever. We still serve. That war has cast aside. That bomb and bullet and fate and chance and blinding heat and burning flash have thrown bloody to one side. We still serve. We still serve. Who stumble and clutch and cry and fall and flail, limbs torn, gone, battle blown, minds longing for just one further step more. We still serve. We still serve that would return as some can never return, that would take the same heedless, cautious step as those for whom heat and flash were end and take that step again against foe with friend. We still serve. I can't discuss Miss Bryant with you. Why not? Patient confidentiality, even though you may be a friend. I'm not her friend. Well, even more so. I'm her wife. Right, I see. I don't think you do see. This morning you signed an insurance document for her saying she was fit to travel. Yes. What about the fact that her diabetes is getting worse? That's news to me. Bladder problems, fainting spells. Wouldn't those indicate something? Possibly, but she didn't mention any of them. Oh, so you took her on trust? I'm not psychic. If a patient chooses not to reveal certain symptoms, I can't be expected to make a judgment. Well, I expect you to exercise a duty of care. It's not as if she's taking a long weekend. She's going to the Yemen. Wasn't there something that... Yes, there was. What? I 
saw her in the park. About lunchtime, after I'd done her medical. I noticed that she was reluctant to take a photograph when someone offered her a camera. Oh, she's a professional. She can be prickly about that kind of thing. No. She went to take the photograph, and then she appeared to be in difficulty. With the camera? With her vision. She has type 1 diabetes. You think it's affecting her eyes? Diabetes can lead to retinopathy, which is a hemorrhaging of the blood vessels in the eyes, leading to blurred vision. And you didn't spot this in the medical? I told you, she said nothing about any problems with her vision. Above all, she was in a terrible hurry to get out of here because she said she had a flight later today. Today? She says she's flying today. I can talk to you. Very intelligently for the past few hours. No, I mean, I can talk to you about things, about art. <laughs> Mom will probably say something like, oh, that's nice, love, and then get on with the cleaning, and Dad, well... Well, your father's a practical man. <laughs> he thinks a good piece of art is a mugshot on Crime Watch that gets someone nicked. Well, it may not be art in the strictest sense, but it's certainly a contribution to the public good. And your lecturer? He thinks Andy Warhol's ancient history. Oh, and Banksy's revolutionary. Actually, he thinks Banksy's a sellout. He reckons the most relevant street artists are the ones who don't get paid. Well, the art, the commerce debate. Tell him to look up Lorenzo de Medici. Bankers were as unpopular then as they are now, but he was also a philanthropist who facilitated the Renaissance. He had Michelangelo as a lodger. <laughs> Imagine him chiseling all night. Yeah, there was probably some family descent as he lugged another block of marble to his room. <laughs> At least you know who Michelangelo was. And not a martial arts cartoon reptile. You know, there's going to be a manga-influenced art exhibition at the College Gallery. Maybe... no. Maybe what? I was going to say maybe we could go, but... I might find it interesting. Really? If not interesting, certainly instructive. If not instructive, it will surely be illuminating. <laughs> There's always something you can learn. Always. I am in a hurry. One of my keys. Um, I can't find my keys for the car. You're going to have to take me to the airport. I'm playing golf. Okay. okay. Can't we find a quicker route? I'll do my best, love. You found the letter. Is that really how you were going to say goodbye? How else could I do it? What, by telling me you had no intention of coming back? That you were certain you were going to die? Photographer's intuition. I've seen plenty of other You were going to get yourself killed. That's why you wanted to make sure of the insurance. I was thinking of you. No, you weren't. You were thinking of yourself. 
War photographer's death, camera in hand. Last frame showing your blood in the dust. What were you planning? Walking into the crossfire? Stumbling, stumbling into the crossfire. That's what the blind do. Well, Dr. Bradfield says that if the retinopathy hasn't it's progressed... It's not retinopathy. It's something called optic atrophy. The nerves connecting my eyes to my brain are withering. I'm going blind. But you've been sticking to the regime, taking the insulin. That's not just type 1 diabetes. It's Wolfram's. <laughs> Wolfram's syndrome. It's a fairly rare genetic disorder. It can cause diabetes and loss of vision. And... And it's incurable. How long have you known? Since I was a kid. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I always hated to be limited by anything. Or by me? No, no, no. I live by seeing through images. Without my sight, I'm nothing. I can help. <laughs> you can't be my eyes. Oh, yes, I can. Stay with me and I can help. Sir? Chris! I won't say don't get up. Hear that you visited Sergeant Faraday this morning. Sir? Must have been glad to see her. Yes, sir. Now, this might come as a shock, but I've recently received some information on the incident involving yourself and Sergeant Faraday. The operational honours list has just been published. In light of your actions on that day, your OC has recommended you for the award of the Military Cross. Good incentive to work on your fitness. See you on your feet and marching to receive it. Congratulations, Lance Corporal. Fully deserved. Major Rudolph's butchering for final assessments today. And if you get the okay, we're going to Finley Court tomorrow. Tomorrow? He has been totally cosseted here. But the mental health nurse said he was ready to go. Well, medically, yes. You want our image to come on holiday with you? We'll think of it as a further education. A budding Leonardo needs to see more. What could be better than Florence? Lucky little madam. Memories of home cooking tonight on BBC HD. The delicious Miss Dahl is indulging herself in half an hour. Up next, though, it's The One Show.